to Republican strategist James Norton, a former senior official at the Department of Homeland Security, joins us now from Washington, as you can see. Thank you for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. Um, another day, another tweet from the president. It's caused absolute outrage this side of the pond. What about where you are, James? You know, I think that uh, a lot of congressional Republicans um, who are in session right now have adopted the Wizard of Oz strategy, which is really to almost ignore the man behind the curtain, where they're, they're not reacting to it within the Republican Party. There's obviously outrage within, you know, the Democrat Party and, and you know, other stakeholders within Washington. I think, you, as you mentioned, you know, coming on the program, that it is just another tweet, and it seems to be the norm. Uh, and it's never going to change at this point. I think people have hoped it's going to change. It kind of is what it is, and I think... You know, it's, it's disappointing at best, but I think, you know, it's kind of where we are in terms of the president and his tweets. But why would he do it? What was, what was he hoping to gain? Was it uh, to try to um, underline his policy as far as uh, allowing Muslims into the country is concerned? You know, certainly the, the travel ban, the Muslim ban has been a priority of his since, you know, since January 20th, almost, uh, almost a year at this point. You know, but he struggled to implement any of his policies, and I think... You know, a lot of this is really a lot of distractions. You know, he had called names with, you know, Senator Warren early in the week. He's tweeting about and things like that. And I think the reality is, at this point, the administration has really struggled to govern, to become a day-to-day uh, -day governing body that has policies that it's executing. We're in the middle of a budget crisis. The government could potentially shut down here uh, on December 8th, which would be, a, a you know, a big crisis for this administration, something that they said they wanted to change and didn't want to have that to happen. And, in Washington. So I think a lot of these things are, are distractions and, you know, a failure to implement a lot of his policies that he said he wanted to do. Wouldn't be the first president that ha that had happened to, though, was it? I mean, I remember us uh, having this very conversation about uh, people like President Obama, amongst others. Well, I think shutdowns are, are certainly, yeah, they're absolutely. I mean, fights with Congress, the executive and legislative branch is not an unusual uh, thing. However, it was a, a pretty big deal, a uh, pretty camp campaign promise for President Trump in terms of changing Washington and trying to change the way it works, that he's a deal maker and that he can make things, you know, function a lot better. And at this point, it seems to be going in the other direction in terms of making things happen. There was a meeting yesterday or a meeting that didn't happen with, you know, quote unquote, Chuck and Nancy Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer, where they had, you know, empty chairs uh, next to the president because they didn't go to a meeting because he tweeted about not being able to get a deal on the budget. So I think this kind of discourse, um, you know, is, is, is getting a little bit tired. And I think, you know, coming to the end of the year where there hasn't really been any legislative accomplishments is, is not good for the Republican Party. It's not good for the American people. Um, and I think that, you know, people are just, are just trying to figure out what, you know, what next, what's coming next. And you also could see a big wave of Democrats coming next year as a result of kind of the failure to govern at this point. Quick thought before we let you go. I mean, he does tend to shoot from the lip, doesn't he? He made those ridiculous comments about Pocahontas just uh, yesterday. But the people that have elected him, the people that put him in office, you know, he is representing their views. You know, I think I think largely the view is that, you know, Washington is dysfunctional. And I think that that was what he was able to campaign on, that it wasn't able to get a lot done. And I think that was that was true to a point, um, you know, up until 20. The reality is that he has been president for almost a year and he's also not able to get anything done. And so I think the question will be coming off the two local elections we had here in Virginia and New Jersey, where, you know, it went Democrat pity handily, and now we're just 12 months from our next election. Will it go Democrat? And I think a lot of people's sense is that it will. And so I think he, he may see a lot of voters abandon him in terms of, you know, okay. being able to get anything done here in D.C. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks Straight across the sky. Thank you.